Welcome to the Queendom. I'm Sarah Ingle, and today we're going on a visit to my 38th great grandfather's palace ruins. <laughs> yeah, so I guess I've never told the internet uh, <laughs> anything about my family tree. So let's pull up old ancestry.com and show you uh, what I'm talking about here. Basically, if we scroll back, here we have me. Scroll back straight through my family tree up my mom's side. Uh, we have, uh, if you go back, 38 greats in the grandfather's Charlemagne. <laughs> um, AKA Charles the Great, AKA the father of Europe. He's kind of a big deal. I'm not a big deal. It's a lot of greats ago. He's my 38th great grandfather and that's whose palace ruins we're going to see. This place, I can't find it on TripAdvisor. I can't find it anywhere. The only reason I even know that it exists is because I was looking on a map of places that were gonna be near Mainz, where we're staying, and I saw there was a town called Ingelheim. My last name is Ingel, and Heim, I believe, means home. So it basically means home of Ingel. So I searched Ingelheim. And I come across that the ruins of the palace that was built by Charlemagne, my 38th great-grandfather, and his son, my 37th great-grandfather, is, is, is here. And you can actually see it, and there's these huge walls, and it's like really, really cool, but it's just completely not publicized. The side with all like the old ancient royals is my mom's side. And so the only reason I found it is because it was called Ingelheim and I was like, my mom's side of the family built this place that's in Ingelheim, home of Ingel from my dad's side of the family. I have to go here. So all of that to say, yes, we're going to Ingelheim. It's this teensy, teensy little town. Well, you'll see, you'll see, we'll get there. So in order to get there, we're gonna have to take an Uber because we don't have a car. <laughs> and while we were waiting for the Uber, we actually went to go see the little, I, I kept calling it the Rapunzel Tower. It's not actually the Rapunzel Tower, but it looks like Rapunzel's Tower across the street. I don't think you can get up inside it, but I had fun exploring, being a little Rapunzel nerd, riding in the Uber to like the middle of nowhere. Like Ingelheim is this teeny tiny little town. The guy drops us off in like a neighborhood. <laughs> it's a mile from here? Yeah. Okay. Um, but this might tell us something. Why didn't he take us there? I don't know. And we're like, what? Where is this place? We came all this way over from across the ocean. This is like the main thing that I've been excited about the whole trip. And so we wander around and we see these big gates. Like these gates look more like security, like prison gates. <laughs> but we see through it and we can see based off the pictures we've seen on Google. And so we're like, this must be it. And we're about to like try and like kind of like look over the fence and almost like to the point where we're gonna leave. And I said, well, is the door locked? <laughs> we didn't try it. <laughs> So we open it and it opens. I guess you can just go in. I mean, honestly, it was kind of scary. I'm like, I do not want like the German police to come and be like yelling at me in German, like get out of here. I'll be like, no, but it's the palace of my 30th great grandfather. Let me go. And I didn't go to jail. <laughs> Spoiler alert. We left the door open behind us because we didn't want to get locked in, especially after I got locked in a thousand year old cathedral, if you saw that in my last vlog. I don't want to get out, this is not fun. It was so, so cool. They had um, these big columns that I think they put in place later to show where some of the columns would have been. It was such, a cool feeling being like, wow. I mean, that's a lot of greats to go, so it's pretty far removed, but I'm directly descended from those people. And it makes you feel like, wow, like a thousand years from now, like will people be 
standing here, I wonder what things will be like then. And they'll look back at ruins of things we have. It's just crazy to think about because that was a long time ago. Basically, the Imperial Palace, it's one of the most important buildings ever commissioned by Charlemagne. He chose Ingelheim in year 787 as the location for his winter housing. They basically called it a villa. So then his son, my 37th great grandfather, stayed there between 817 and 840. And he also died in 840 on an island in the Rhine near Ingelheim. And some of them even had an elaborate system for transporting water. So they basically got their own little system for almost running water, which is pretty nuts. And this palace was continued to be used for like a long, long time, even into the late middle ages, it looks like. So I'm just trying to absorb as much of this as possible. And then we see these buildings around it and we're like, I hope this isn't like somebody's house, but this door is unlocked. <laughs> so we go in and again, it looks like you're just supposed to go in there. You go in and all the lights turn on and it tells you the history and has portraits on the wall of kings and emperors who called that place like either their home or like a secondary home through the ages. I wonder how many of these people I'm related to. I probably just, just the, the two furthest back. It was such a fascinating experience and I'm really not kidding. I really want to go back. So if you're ever in the area, it's a really, really cool thing to see. I don't even know how many times I've ever even seen anything that old. Like that's like 1200 years old, was it something like that. Like that's, that's crazy. So in Googling this, I found out also in the same area, Charlemagne's bath, like literally where he used to bathe. You can go see that. But we had no idea what was going on. We were very, very confused. I really wanna go back to Ingelheim and I wanna see more of the stuff, the Charlemagne stuff, because apparently I missed a ton of it. Oops, I need a tour. So if anybody out there, you know of somebody who gives a tour of this place, Please contact me. <laughs> so after we left there, we just kind of kept wandering around the area and we actually happen upon the museum. My dad's trying to explain to them that my 38th grade grandfather is Charlemagne and they're very confused. All they understood was that my grandfather lived there and they were also wanting to know like what my last name was. They were confused because Ingle, Ingelheim, I think they thought like somebody from <laughs> His side lived there like my grandfather's from there and he's Ingleheim. I don't know. I don't know. But then we're trying to, then I'm just like, please stop trying to explain it to him. We're just, it, we, there's too much of a language barrier. This is a weird thing to even explain even to somebody in English. But we're like pointing at the picture of Charlemagne. And I'm pretty sure they thought I was absolutely crazy. Like the coolest thing they had in there was a gold coin that they found in the area that actually had Charlemagne's picture on it. And there were some other things in there too, but it, it, we are actually getting really hungry and tired at this point. The jet lag does some weird things. But we're outside now waiting for the Uber to go back. Cold. It is cold. And there's some pretty buildings and this funny little horse, not horse, dog thing by this church. They are waiting for the Uber. We saw this funny mouse thing. I don't know what it was. If anyone knows what that is, please tell me in the comments. So for lunch, I actually took my dad back to the Alex place that I talked to you guys in the, in the last video about because I wanted him to taste the baked herder's cheese. And again, if you guys know where I can get baked herder's cheese in the US, please tell me because it was so good. Take him to the cathedral because he hasn't seen it yet. And it's really cool. Uh, <laughs> you guys know I got locked in there, so that was fun. Um, but he just wanted to go to the bathroom after lunch, <laughs> and he comes back, and what did you say to me? I just wanted to know what H or D, man. I had to take a guess. <laughs> guess which bathroom was which. <laughs> he didn't know. The crazy thing, when we went in there that day, the crypt was open, and I was like, oh no, that terrifying crypt. Are you allowed to go down there? It doesn't say not to. Oh. Oh. Don't do that. We're just 
just going everywhere today. Anywhere there's an unlocked door, we're just barging in. So we go, so we go in the crypt. And it was creepy and you could see like in the back where there was like someone buried. And I was also glad I was with my dad. So if at least if I got locked in, he'll help find a way out. Then we actually ran into one of my dad's first officers and his wife. So that was cool. So we left the cathedral and just walked like one additional block from the furthest I'd walked. And then there was the Rhine River and this big, huge, famous river. I can't believe I didn't walk down here. It was literally just one more block and I was just like too hesitant to cross that road. My dad also FaceTimed my mom the whole time. So it was holding a camera to film me and holding a camera also to film me, but to show my mom what we were doing. Then I took them to see Kirschgarten. Here we've got us. There is apparently my mom's with us now too. <laughs> Anyways. You guys look to see down by the river because we got to see the Lumbo River and archaeological sites from my ancestors and now my favorite little cute area. So eventually after we explored some more, we wandered back to the hotel. We tried to go eat dinner at the Rapunzel Tower as I'm calling it. So we wander over there. We have a theme of today, wandering into places. And again, there's a gate that's unlocked. So we just go in, but it turns out the restaurant appeared anyway to be closed. Oh, we went to the grocery store. Just bought raspberries and we're gonna have dinner in the hotel because we had to pack and get ready to say goodbye to Germany in the morning. So in the morning, yes, it was time to say goodbye to Germany for now because I really wanna go back. And on the ride back to the airport, there was even a rainbow and it was really pretty. Before we left, I asked my dad, am I allowed to see the, the flight deck and come see, like sit in your seat? And he's like, yeah, you're allowed to before we leave. You can come up here. So I got to go sit in my dad's seat and I got a picture, I got pictures and I was, I was just, like as happy as a clam. I had to wear his hat and sit in the captain's seat and it was great. Yay. This is cool. Say is something. Is this you're... allowed to go in the vlog? Go ahead. So I watched Frozen 2 on the flight back and then I connected in Atlanta. And when I was in Atlanta, I even met one of you guys, which is awesome. If you guys ever see me, always feel free to say hi. I mean, I think you can tell I'm a, I'm a friendly person. I am not scary or mean. So shout out to Caitlin. Thank you so much for saying hi and thank you for being part of the queendom. You guys gonna tell me in the comments below where in Germany you think I should visit if I go back. Or if you've ever been to Germany, tell me your favorite place in Germany. This is the end of the Germany vlogs, but if you wanna see more videos, remember to subscribe. And if you want those videos to come right to you, ring the little bell. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. I'm taking you with me to a choo um, to um. Anyway, okay, okay, okay. Ingelheim, 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 Ingelheim. You can actually see me walking around more while they're just holding the camera like, hi. Ha ha!